Hello, let's focus on CMC's OS version 2 API, which will be used within hands-on parts during this session. CMC's OS API is a generic RDOS interface for Cortex-based devices like STM32. It has been designed by ARM for all implementation of Cortex-M devices. Middleware components using the CMC SOS API are RTOS independent. This allows an easy linking of any third-party RTOS to your application. The CMC SOS API defines a minimum set feature including the treat management, kernel control, semaphore management, message queue and mail queue, memory management. STM32 cube libraries comes with an implementation of CMC's RTOS for free RTOS. And we've got uh, two versions of an STM32 Cube MX and Cube IDE, CMC's OS V1 and CMC's OS V2. Here you can see the links uh, to the web webpage which is describing more in details both API conventions. Within this training we will use uh, CMC's OS V2 as it is much more advanced and uh, it covers much more functionalities within freer OS. Let's discuss the main data structures, main information while we are programming operations using CMC's OS API. So most of the functions uh, from CMC's OS uh, v1 or v2 is returning the status information. So in our implementation, in our examples, we will use OS status underscore t as we will use version 2 of CMC's OS. This status allows us to check whether the function is completed successfully or there were some issues. Uh, we will discuss further more in details uh, the possible values of OS status underscore t and analyze the possible root causes of the issue. Then each OS component has its own ID own handler so in case of the tasks uh, it is os thread id underscore t in version 2 and it is mapped uh, to task handle underscore t within free rtos api similar stories uh, with the queues semaphores and mutexes uh, and the software timers it is important that uh, those handlers are valid for the components which needs uh, some memory allocation so the control block and its own stack this is why we need the handler to store all of the information over there. The next important point is uh, concerning the delays and timeouts. So like it is uh, done with an STM32 hardware abstraction layer, all the delays and timeouts are given in milliseconds. So zero means no delay, something above zero is always in milliseconds. And if you would like to wait uh, continuously, so wait forever, we need to specify all the, let's say, ones within 32 bits. So it is defined as OS wait forever within CMC's underscore OS dot H file. Most of the functions within CMC's OS API in version 2 is returning OS status underscore T type value. It is fully defined within CMC's underscore OS.h file and it's very important to understand what are the meaning of the values of this type. So once OS status underscore t is equal to zero, it means that the operation the function completed successfully. Minus one means that there was some unspecified operating system error during runtime or execution of the function. Minus two means that it was not possible to fully execute the function within given timeout period. Minus 3 means that there was a problem with the resource availability. Minus 4 means that uh, the, there was a parameter error. Minus 5 means that there was not enough memory, so system was out of memory and it was not possible to allocate or book memory for this operation. Minus 6, which is very important one, it is the option where the function was not allowed to be executed from the interrupt. So this is important to understand what is the meaning of the particular values of this type and to check it during execution of the operating system functions, what is the return value to detect abnormal situation and debug the application. Task states are coded within OS thread state underscore T enumeration. Here in the table we can see the coding of each state with value. So we can see a thread inactive, ready, running, blocked, terminated, so mentioned deleted. There is as well the thread error in case of an error with the, with the task and uh, there is a reserved field as well. 
Let's focus a while on the thread or task attributes, which are defined within a structure of type OS thread atr underscore t within cmc's underscore os 2h file. So this is a typical uh, for CMC OS in version 2 and it contains all of the information uh, which are necessary to create a new task and uh, some of them we need to specify by our own during the task creation and uh, some of them are filled by the code after the task creation. So let's say the first one is a name of the task of the thread, as you can see. Then the second one which we need to specify is a stack size, which would be uh, dedicated for the given task and its priority. So those three arguments we need to specify within this structure before task creation and then use an address of this structure to create a new task. Then during task creation, the rest of the fields will be filled. So for example, attribute bits, then pointer to the thread control block memory area, which would be known after task creation during uh, allocation of two memory areas for the task. So the task control block and its stack. So this pointer would be filled a bit later on after creation of the task. Then the size of the task control block would be filled here as well. It can be done after creation of the task because it will be calculated based on the, the rest of the components which has been selected within FreeRTOS, usually within FreeRTOS config.h file. As you remember, if we add, for example, mutexes, software timers, task notification, the task control block will be increased. This is why this size is added a bit later on. Then we've got the pointer to the thread or task stack memory area, so the dedicated stack for the task. And in case we are working with the microcontroller based on a core with a trust zone, there is as well the trust zone module identifier place. So those are the main components within this structure, which are defining the task we are just creating. Just to highlight, during the task creation, we are filling manually or specifying manually three components, name, stack size, and the priority of the task. Here is the list of the priorities which are available within a CMC's OS V2. It is much extended list versus CMC's OS V1. And in terms of the naming, it is much more complex than a native free OS API. So the priorities are stored within the enumeration called OS priority underscore T. We can find it within CMC's underscore OS dot H file. And uh, we are starting uh, from OS priority none, uh, which is not initialized, it is value zero. Then we've got OS priority idle. This is a value one, it is reserved for idle thread. Then we've got, uh, let's say the space between two and seven, not used. And uh, Number eight of the priority is used for OS priority low. Then we've got OS priority low one to seven, and we've got the group OS priority below normal. Then there is OS priority normal, above normal, high, real time, and OS priority ISR. It is reserved for interrupt routines, and its level is 56. If there is an issue with the priority, we will have uh, the value minus one. So the system cannot determine what is the priority level or the level used uh, for the creation of the component is illegal one. So it is good to uh, monitor the value which is uh, read, for example, from the task, uh, whether the priority is on a correct uh, level. When we are using the CMC OS, it is converting, in fact, those uh, naming convention into the freer OS API ones. So please uh, monitor carefully which values are returned by the OS functions. The values which would be returned by CMC OS would be, of course, within this OS priority enumeration list. But if you will go into the API functions of FreeRTOS, please remember that in between we've got the conversion between those priority lists and numbers and FreeRTOS APIs. Thank you for watching this video.